Hello. I'm going to do a short video about uh, a new product which isn't available uh, well it is available now um, it's going to be properly launched in Coventry in a couple of weeks time or four weeks time whatever it is which is to help people with their finishing now in um, the UK it's quite difficult to find an abrasive paste um, you, you can get it, it's a bit awkward. So uh, Glyn Senior has started making this Yorkshire Grit. And I'll tell you exactly what it says. This is a hand blended mix of mineral oil, lemon oil, beeswax, rotten stone and pumice. Designed to give your wood turning the perfect foundation for finishing. Now this came to me this morning, I ordered it a couple of days ago. It came to me in the post this morning and I've been playing around with it. I'm really pleased with it. I did a photo, I put a photo up on my Facebook page about this uh, bird's eye maple bowl that I'm doing and just showed what kind of finish I can get with this without even putting any polish on, you know, it's ready for polishing. So what I've done is I've put the uh, blank, well the bowl, back in the lathe and I've skimmed off the sanding seal and the whatever I had on there. So it's down to bare wood again. So I can just go through this process of how easy it is to use this stuff. Now, before I go any further, I'm not getting paid by anybody. I've volunteered to do this video to help promote this product. If I didn't like something, you know about it. So, I like it. It might have been a fluke, but I've had a couple of goes with it. I still like it. I'm going to adjust the camera down now and just show you quickly how to go about using this and what kind of finish you can get with it. Well here's a little bird's eye maple bowl skimmed back now to its bare wood. I'm going to sand it with start off with 80 grit, 120, 180 and very quickly with 240 and uh, actually I needn't even start with the 80 I think uh, you get a pretty good finish to start with with the tools, you can start at 120. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, no polish or paste or anything will get rid of tool marks. So get your, your wood as, as nice as you can before you start applying anything. So, I'm going to start sanding at 120. Now 180. Now 240. Now when you're happy with the finish, I'm quite happy with that, that'll, that'll do for these demonstration purposes. Now I apply my sanding sealant. Rather earlier you might think than I usually apply sanding sealant. But there's no need to go through the extra grits of sandpaper or in my case Abronet which I'm using.
there we go a nice quick coat of sanding sealant and I'll just leave that for a minute to go off I'm not going to rub it off with 0000Y wool just going to let it let it dry as it is That's gone off nice and dry after a couple of minutes. I have got a couple of cracks in this, so uh, it won't be absolute perfection because those need uh, treating separately. And I don't expect anything to fill cracks in miraculously for me. So, open my little pot of Yorkshire grit, and I've got a piece of 600 Abernet here. You can use a paper towel. Uh, an old t-shirt get a bit on your whatever you're going to use your applicator and just work it all over the surface you're working on just rub it into the grain nicely a little bit more doesn't need too much at all the pot of this is going to last a long time I think you can actually feel it. You think you've got a smooth surface, but you can feel the grit in, in it working. So I've got that covered now all over the surface of this little bowl. Nicely worked in. You know, by putting the sanding sealant on and not knocking it back with wire wool, it's opened that grain up in the wood, which allows the Yorkshire grit to get into what you're going to take off into the surface of the wood better. Right, put the lid back on, pop that out the way. That's how little you need. Now we're going to start the lathe slowly, about 500 revs. You can go a bit slower if you want. And I'm still going to use this same bit of abronet I've got, or whatever you use to ab apply the uh, Yorkshire grit. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes now sanding it down. Now you don't have to apply excessive pressure, just keep working it. You can feel it up beneath your fingers actually doing the job. And when you can't feel it anymore, you know you've got a smooth finish. I'm going to turn the speed up a bit now. So as this paste works works its magic, the, the abrasives in it are getting smaller and smaller. The smoother your surface gets, the smaller the abrasives are going to get, until they can't get any smaller because there's nothing left to take off. Now after you give that a couple of minutes, so you give it a little bit longer, get on to the next stage. That's 
that's it that's all you have to do now I think the camera's already picking up so there's a little bit of a shine starting to show through get yourself a paper towel or a bit of old rag and start getting this stuff off now you can go without the lathe on or you can put the lathe on and I think it's better to put the lathe on keep turning the paper towel until you've got rid of all the paste you can just see the tiny little bits there but it's nearly all gone Keep turning your paper towel until there's nothing left coming off. That's it. Yeah, the camera is picking that shine up. See it? Now that's ready for polishing. There is no polish on that whatsoever. So imagine what it's going to be like when there is a coat of polish on. Brilliant. Just brilliant. I'm so pleased with this product. It's, that is like glass. Now, like I said before, if I don't like something, I'll tell you. This product it's going to be a godsend for the UK turners at least that are having trouble finding stuff like this and uh, if I was you I'd buy myself a pot like I have it's well worth it, it's very reasonably priced so there is going to be an official launch at Coventry but uh, you can go over, I'll put a link down to the Yorkshire Grit website where you can actually order some right now and uh, I'm going to get some polish on that I think. See you in a minute. be better one coat of wax it doesn't matter what finish you use whether you want a, a high gloss a satin whatever you still got to have a good base to put that wax on and this Yorkshire grit believe me as long as you follow the instructions and it does come with an instruction sheet it's so easy to follow that's it folks I love this stuff and, and uh, I'm going to be using it on just about every piece I do from now on. So thanks very much for watching. And I hope you'll go and uh, invest in this. Because it's, believe me it's well worth it. Bye for now. This is another little bowl I'm working on. Which is Coca Bola. And I've just given that the same finish. And it's absolutely amazing. 